Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's video learning Fuser, we're going to look at the object selection. Uh, selecting object is a very important task because it's going to help you save a lot of time, select the correct object and link it to your task. So today we're going to go through the different way of selecting the objects, creating filters, creating group using the inclusive, exclusive methods and much more. Without further ado, let's jump into Fuser so we can review this process together. In today's episode, I want to go over a very important topic in Fuser, which is selecting object. I want to go through a different method, how you can select object and how can you use them. So the first thing is just a uh, selecting object by clicking in a 3D view. So if I click on an object, it's going to select that one for me. It's going to bring up the element properties. It's going to bring up the refit control, which is going to move it, rotate it, focus more on and all the information and the properties that are associated with that element that you have. So if you want to select more, you can kind of hold down control or shift and basically keep clicking on the items. Also, if you want to deselect a single object, make sure you hold down control, click on that object and you can deselect the object. The main part right here that I want to kind of bring into your attention is when you're selecting object, if you can look at these top, it basically tells you how many objects you have selected. So right here, I have selected three objects. And then these are all the polygons that are available in these models, plus all the meshes that are available in this model. So this is the one that basically tell you how many you selected. So if I hold down control, click that one, it's gonna add four. If add this one, it's gonna make it five. And if I wanna deselect all, just basically click here. So this is one way that you can select object by just clicking on it, hold control or shift, add or hold control and then deselect. The next item uh, we can use box selection. Um, so Fuser has two methods to use box selection. One of them is inclusive, one of them is exclusive. So inclusive means if I uh, select any object that is entirely or partially within this box. So if I do it this you can see the box has uh, it looks like like a dash line around so anything that touches it becomes selected so this is kind of inclusive it means you can go from bottom right all the way up to top left and whatever is touched by that line is going to get selected so you can see all of these get selected i have selected 15 objects um, exclusive it's going from top right all the way to bottom left there is no dash line the lines are solid around the box and only select the objects that are in the box so that's why they're called exclusive so if i select this i uh, basically just kind of selecting one object. So if I kind of do that, you can see I only select that one. If I go right here, it's only select uh, kind of all of those objects that I have with it. And I can kind of move it. You can see it's only this uh, uh, two objects that I selected. And it's kind of kind of using all of these two around. So let me put it back. So right now we kind of went through two methods, one of them using a box selection, the next one using um, just, just a single click. So the next one that we can use in order to select the object is going to be selection sets. So to find the selection set, this set acts as a selection set in Navis that you can kind of create your sets. You can add more groups to it for, let's say, all the columns, all the footings, all the walls and whatnot. So you can go to the coordination tab all the way down here. You can see the selection set. Um, the good thing is you can kind of move it around put it anywhere you like so let's uh, go through all of this so one of them is obviously you can create different sets you can hit create uh, you can add objects remove and sort let's just try a few so if I want to select let's say this guy and this one and then hit create is gonna create a new one let's call them group one uh, let's do these two let's create 
let's call them G2. So right now I have created two groups and if I select this, it's gonna select those two items and I can see right here to select it. If I go to G2, two items selected, I can look at on top right here, the two items selected. So let's say I wanna add items to it. So when I wanna add items, you wanna make sure first you select a group. So I'm selecting that group. I am holding control selecting this one and says add object so right now if i go back and click on this one you can see i'm selecting a three object so you want to make sure you select that group if you want to add object to it so if i want to add object to g2 i'm going right here so these two selected i'm holding control adding these objects and it says add object so right now my group three has three columns. My group two has three columns as well. So selecting the G or the group first and then call control select and then add object. So you can do kind of the same thing. So if I want to right now, I'm on G2. So I don't want this one. I select this one and says remove. So the group is over there. You can see these are selected, but this one is gone. Uh, so a little bit like a different selection you got to make sure so for the add you need to select the group uh, when I select the group it's all highlighted hold control and then add so right now I'm adding this three and if I want to get rid of it I'm on the group I want to make sure I want to get rid of this one select the object first and then remove so right now you can see g2 has two those are gone if I want to go back to g one and remove it i am on the group select this one and i'm saying i'm going to remove this one so right now i have to so a little bit different make sure you select the correct group and then select the object that you want to be removed from that group and hit remove or you want to select with holding control while you select it to add it it's a little bit like the opposite of each other but i want to make sure you guys understand the process first make sure you select the correct group and then by selecting and deselecting the object and using these add and remove it can kind of move all of them and if you have a certain naming convention you can sort all of these by the certain naming convention that you have that would be a great way for you if you have a lot of components in the model you'll be able to do it um, and then the last one that it's really really important and you can use more it's basically just uh, visibility so uh, the visibility override is under the coordination tab um, i can click on it's going to be another box let me close this one so this visibility tab we're going to go over it in detail it's a very important part of the uh fuser it basically is um acting all the it's acting as a control of all the objects that you have so you basically you have everything on the model you'll be able to kind of use it uh to turn stuff on and off let me get close a little bit over here so you guys can see what we're doing so any object that you bring into navis you'll be able to see it in a visibility override uh we, we kind of we will go over in these in future uh, videos more in detail but right now we're just talking about the selection and how you can select items you can use this one you can see this is nwc so it means um it's like a navis or exported from Revit as an nwc file if i open the selection tree i'll be able to kind of see let's say level two um i have two layers one of them is the columns so you can see if i select that it's going to select all the columns that is over there for level two and also framing you can see how it's going to basically framing this is the top parapet is going to select all of them on top and if i go down this it's going to give me more uh control over selecting object one by one and you can kind of work this with your selection set in conjunction it means you can select all the objects in ended off you know clicking every single one one by one you can come to the layer and say okay let me click on this i want to basically uh do all of this columns in one group 
um, I want to do all of all of these kind of uh, parapet in one group. I can do all of this one in the back in another group. So it basically give you more control and save you time because it's already grouped layer. You can kind of use all of this to create your selection set if you want instead of just clicking on it. Um, so you have basically four different way to select the object one of them you can use the box selection exclusive inclusive we want you can kind of uh, click on the 3d view selecting the object uh, you can also use this selection box or selection set that we talk about and you can group them uh, and the last one you can use visibility override which is going to give you the ability to select the object and you have more control over the layers and then you can use this visibility override in conjunction with the selection set to create your set so it's going to make it easier for you uh, when you assign it so you can select all the objects and you can assign it per the schedule and I would recommend first read your schedule see what the items you have in your schedule and you can create your group that matches your schedule so if you're talking about let's say foodings f1 so you can select all the f1s put them in one group and you can select all of them assign it to the schedule tax we'll do it later on but I just want to make sure you guys see what we are when I'm emphasizing the selection is important because it's going to expedite the process down the road when we are using um hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you like the content please make sure to subscribe and leave a like and i will see you guys in the next video thank you for watching mm -hmm.